Arsenal Fan TV. Just got some really exciting news. We've just made a sign-in. Yes, I know you've waited a long time. We've just made a sign-in. No, it wasn't Suarez. No, it wasn't Higuain. It wasn't 40 million. It wasn't 30 million. It wasn't 10 million. It wasn't 5 million. Guess how much? Yeah, you're right. Nothing. Another free. Matthew Flamini has just signed for Arsenal Football Club. What can I say? I know you're as underwhelmed as I am right now. Matthew Flamini signed on a free from AC Milan. He's been training with Arsenal and uh, Wenger's been watching him, has been very impressive in training and decided to give him a contract. And uh, it's our second signing of the summer. I really, I can't get my head around it. I'm, I'm being honest with you. I mean, Listen, no disrespect to Matthew Flamini. When he was with us before, he was a very good player. If he's going to be a similar type of player to how he was before, he will be able to do a little job for us. He's obviously been signed as a sort of utility player. Arsene Wenger saying today that he'll be able to play as a holding midfielder. He can also fill in at right back and at left back. So obviously he's going to be sort of a squad utility type player. But I'm just so underwhelmed. I mean, where are the big signings? I mean, I was chatting to a friend today and my friend said something to me and he said, listen, if you was Arsene Wenger and, or Gazidis or the board and you came up with a plan at the start of the window and you said, listen, how can we really piss off Arsenal fans? What can we do? And somebody said, I'll tell you what you can do. Make out like we've got loads of money to spend, right? And then let them wait and stew all summer. And then right at the last minute, we'll see what we can get. Yeah, we can piss them off like that. I mean, I just can't get my head around it. Where are the signings? Time is running out. There's a couple of days to go. We've just drawn a very, very difficult Champions League group. And I'm telling you, we need some top quality signings. And, you know, we're all right. We're being linked with players like Di Maria, Benzema, Mesut Ozil. Those players are now saying they don't want to come. They want to stay at Madrid. We all know what it's like. Right at the end of the window, there is a lot of movement. I'm praying that we can pull off some major signings, some really good signings that can push us forward. But I'm still baffled as to why we have waited all summer to start doing our business. It's just beyond me. Something has definitely gone wrong with our transfer policy. And you can, you know, you talk to the fans, you've seen the interviews. These are not guys that are against Arsenal Football Club. We all love the club. We all want to praise Arsene Wenger. We even, I even want to praise Gazidis. But come on, how can we get behind the club with all our heart at the moment when we're so frustrated? So I'm just praying that um, over the next couple of days, they will go out there and do some good business, bring in some good signings, get us excited again. But it is what it is. Matthew Flamini, second signing of the summer, another free transfer. He's the guy that's coming in. I'll be honest with you, I was a bit sceptical even of him coming because I remember when he left Arsenal and I wasn't too happy on the way he sort of left Arsenal because we'd sort of made him into the player he was. He came from nowhere sort of thing. And then he decided to leave and go to Milan. But I'm going to welcome him back. I'm going to get behind him. Matthew Flamini, second signing of the summer. What do you think? Leave your comments below. Tell us what you think. I kind of think I know already what you're going to think. But tell us what you think. But we will be getting behind Matthew Flamini. Welcome to Arsenal. Personally, for me, what I would say to all of the fans, and I don't know whether anyone will take notice or not, but listen, you know, we can talk as much as we want, but until you start following up your words with actions, you're just wasting your time. What I would say to the fans is no pints, no pies and no programmes. Until the club start giving something back, I just don't think we should be spending that sort of money. I, you know, I really urge every single one of the 60,000 people on, Saturday, on Sunday that come here for the Tottenham game, if we haven't got in a signing before then, no pints, no programmes, no pies. That's what I would say. The whole reason why we moved here was to compete at the highest level because of that extra revenue.